Welcome to the 2022 Breakfast Wars, where 32 national breakfast dishes compete tournament style to win the coveted title of the best breakfast of 2022. And this medal right here. I will personally do my best to make them, taste them and compare them and eventually decide which breakfast moves on into the next round. Until only one remains. And welcome to day one of the Breakfast Wars. We're just starting the first round matchups. And today we have South Korea versus Australia. Two true breakfast heavyweights. So what's it gonna be? The Australian breakfast or the Korean breakfast? The official winner of day one of the 2022 Breakfast Wars is... So, the Australian breakfast. When doing research into the Australian breakfast, I noticed that there really isn't a solidly defined Australian way to eat breakfast. As this Quora reply said, quoting a song named, I am Australian. We are one, but we are many. And from all the lands on earth we come. Pretty wholesome. However, after spending some time on Reddit, watching some YouTube videos and reading some articles, I think I managed to nail down a breakfast that is very popular and widespread in Australia. So most sources mentioned toasted bread with different toppings. So I got myself a really nice sourdough and really struggled to slice it with my knife. For some reason, I never bought a bread knife. It's one of those things that I never buy and then wonder why I never bought them because I need them so often. But anyways, I'm gonna toast my sourdough slices in a pan with some olive oil, pretty basic stuff. And then for one of them, I'm actually gonna butter it. And I chose to do it here in the pan because the butter was really cold and I wanted it to melt. And on top of this buttery bread slice, I will use the most Australian thing that I know, except for Daniel Ricardo, Vegemite. And Vegemite is a very controversial, widely hated spread, especially by non-Australians. Vegemite? I'm just gonna try it, here goes nothing. <laughs> But if you watch my TikTok on Vegemite, you know that my feelings on it are pretty neutral. Oh, it smells pleasant. It smells like soy sauce. Yeah, it literally smells like soy sauce. Why would this be bad? But yeah, you gotta be careful with the amount. You know, anything that has the word yeast in its description, you gotta handle with care, you know what I mean? So just spread a thin layer of Vegemite on your buttery toast. And that's it for this one. I decided to take the other piece of toast in a completely different direction. Avocado toast seemed to be a very popular Australian breakfast choice. So I took an avocado, added some salt and some lime juice and just mashed it up into a chunky chunky paste. This is one of my favorite things to put on bread in general. It's both rich and fresh and tangy in the best ways. So I added my avocado to my slice of toast but it wasn't complete. I found this very nice video from this very nice Australian gentleman showing me how to do Aussie inspired eggs. So I decided to just do this. I took two eggs, beat them and then decided to add another one because why not? And yeah, the trick with these eggs is to form gentle big ribbons by dragging the eggs across the pan occasionally and cook it on pretty low heat. And when it's finally settled, I seasoned it with salt and attempted to fold it together in a nice way, but like most of my attempts to make things look nice, it didn't really work. But do not worry, I masked it up with some finely chopped parsley. And yeah guys, this looks like a pretty solid, complete breakfast. We got some breakfast classics, toast, avocado, eggs, and a pretty wide array of nutrients here. The Australian breakfast, everyone. So yeah, let's give it a taste. So I'll go in for the Vegemite first. And this is a nice slice of sourdough. Okay, woo! I forgot how strong this is, but I do like it. I can taste the yeast coming through. All right, and this egg, I mean, I've had this format of breakfast many times before. The egg is very silky, creamy. Mm. And these actually go pretty well together because the avocado brings in some freshness. But then the Vegemite has got a strong kick. It's a very good breakfast to me. Nothing particularly special. All right, now let's go to South Korea and try their breakfast. Well, I won't go to South Korea, but I will make the South Korean breakfast. Let's see if it's better than this. So South Korea obviously has a huge culinary culture. And from what I've seen, their breakfast reflects that. Most of the time, it's also dealer's choice in terms of what specific dishes are in the breakfast. But I have found some commonalities across the board 
in all the Korean breakfasts that I've seen. 99% of the breakfasts I've seen contain a bowl of steamed white rice. And as usual, my trusty rice cooker comes in handy. Just add rice, water, turn it on and voila, perfectly cooked rice. So yeah, rice is a given in our South Korean breakfast. Another very frequent breakfast item is kimchi. Kimchi is a traditional side dish of salted and fermented vegetables. They use cabbage and radish and all sorts of spices, but whatever they put in there is like crack to me because I eat this by the spoonful every day. I got my favorite brand of kimchi from my local Asian supermarket and check it out, it's made in South Korea. So I think that's pretty legit, hopefully. Other than that, the South Korean breakfast sometimes includes soup and most of the time includes a variety of banchans. Banchan is a word used to describe small side dishes that are served with rice, so pretty much what we need right now. And after doing some research, I found two breakfast banchans that were pretty popular and that I felt could complete this breakfast. This first one is a potato banchan, and I found this lovely video explaining how to make it by Quan's Corner, and all I can say is that I really like the first three letters of your name. So I started by prepping my ingredients. First one, onion. Just give that a chop into relative thin pieces and actually all the vegetables have to be pretty thin because they have to cook pretty fast in a pan including this carrot right here that I'm chopping into thin batons also this is a potato banchan so we're gonna need some potatoes I have a few small waxy potatoes and I'm cutting them similarly to my carrots so I'm getting my trusty bendy pan and I'm adding some oil to it I'm starting with my carrots and my onions I want these to sweat all their flavors and liquids out to set the stage for my potatoes. So I'm just gonna cook on medium heat until the onions turn translucent and the carrots just slightly softened, at which point I'll add some salt and some white pepper and then giving everything a little toss. I'm adding my potatoes right now, as well as a touch of sesame oil, and now we just have to cook them. I'd say it took about 10 minutes for everything to cook to my liking, but it was definitely worth it. You can parboil the potatoes in a separate pot, but it feels like this is a more realistic, lower effort breakfast situation. I also added some sliced green chilies just for an extra kick, and this is my delicious potato banchan. I found this great video by Future Nate about breakfast banchans and he made these green onion soy sauce eggs and when I saw them you know they just look delicious so I decided to give it a shot as well we start with a little sesame oil and then some sliced green onion after we cook that for a while I'm just gonna crack two eggs on top of that and I have this thing called soup soy sauce it's a soy sauce used specifically for cooking and I've learned that a very small amount goes a long way because I definitely use too much it's very salty yeah just put the lid on this boy and in a minute or so the whites have set and we have some lovely soy sauce scallion fried eggs and this looks delicious similarly to the Australian breakfast it's a very complete meal and I'm telling you guys these are two breakfast heavyweights going against each other so let's taste the South Korean breakfast look at this beauty the Korean breakfast. I think it's time for a taste. A lot of things that are happening here, I like. Pretty much everything. I am a sucker for kimchi and eggs and rice, and these vegetables look very nice. Mmm, oh my. It is both rich and kind of fresh at the same time. These eggs are special. God, I love kimchi, guys. Okay. I think I made my decision. So what's it gonna be? The Australian breakfast or the Korean breakfast? What do you guys think? The official winner of day one of the 2022 breakfast wars is, drum roll please, South Korea. That's right, Australia did a good job. I'm a fan of everything that's happening here. But South Korea, wow, this has to be one of my favorite breakfasts that I've ever tried, actually. These eggs are a game changer, and this potato banchan, really, I never tried it, but it's so, so good. And the kimchi, I'm a sucker for kimchi, guys. It just had to go to South Korea. So congratulations, South Korea, your breakfast moves on into the next stage. Stay tuned for the next video where Germany and Brazil will go head to head to compete for a spot against South Korea. 
who do you think will win? And by the way, if your country is competing, make sure to join my Discord server where you can give me recipes from your country so I can make them in my videos. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next episode of Breakfast Wars. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about these dishes and who do you think is gonna win the whole thing. If you enjoyed this video, click on one of these other two videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.